Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Polina with Elemental Face Yoga. In this video, I'm going to show you how to improve the appearance of sunken eyes. So the area under your eyes look brighter, more toned and less dark. Sunken eyes means essentially that the area around the eyes, especially under the eyes, appears dark, sunken and hollow. And also sometimes referred to as under eye hollows. Periocular area generally, so this area around the eyes, is very, very delicate and it loses its elasticity and collagen as we get older. So sunken eyes can give the face an overall tired and fatigued look. And also the cheekbones and eye sockets, don't forget, they recede over time and that can result in a loss of support for the skin and adding to the sunken appearance of the eyes. So in this video, I'm going to show you exercises facial exercises that tone the under eye area because contracting and releasing the muscles consciously will boost elimination of toxins and it will help to therefore brighten and lighten the dark circles. It will also stimulate the production of collagen and increase skin elasticity under the eyes and will help us lessen eye bags. In addition to eye exercises, I will also show you a gentle, soothing lymphatic massage which will help to depuff the skin around the eyes and will make your eyes look less tired and more energized. So what causes sunken eyes? They can be caused by genetics, of course, but also sometimes by lifestyle factors such as lack of sleep, poor nutrition. Another big factor is stress. So to really see the difference with facial exercises that you might be doing already in this area, you also need to review your lifestyle and implement some necessary changes, such as perhaps increasing your water consumption, getting more sleep, getting better nutrition, and reducing your stress levels. Making these changes will also help you boost your overall health. Are you ready to try the exercises and massage to help reduce sunken eyes? If you are, grab your mirror and let's get started together. Let's start by taking a deep breath in through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth, closing your eyes for a moment. And again, as you take a deep breath in, connect to the areas under the eyes and then relax completely the muscles, relax any grip and any tension that you might feel there as you exhale. One more time, inhale. Relax any tension around the eyes as you exhale. Slowly opening the eyes and we'll start with our first exercise. This is called the lower eyelid pull-ups. We have two finger pads, index and middle finger. We're going to place them just on the outer edges of our eyes. Take a breath in and out. Look straight ahead and now start drawing up the lower eyelids five counts to come up into a little squint. So looking straight ahead, you have a little line there of vision still. Your lower eyelids will be doing a little bit of contraction here, so you might find some shaking under the eyes. That's totally normal. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Good, and then slowly release the lower eyes. Close the eyes completely for a moment. Open the eyes again. Again, draw up the lower eyelids. So we're aiming to draw them up gradually and steadily in five counts. Coming into a squint, not completely closing the eyes, you still have a little line of vision in between, but you're feeling the lower eyelids contracted and pulled up. Try and relax the area between the eyebrows. Good, and then slowly releasing that contraction, closing the eyes, and giving eyes a little chance to rebalance. Opening the eyes one more time, so holding the finger pads in place, drawing up the lower eyelids, drawing them up in five counts, nice and gradual holding them there, draw up a little bit more, good, and then slowly in five counts, releasing as you're closing the eyes, relaxing your fingers down, taking a breath in and out, opening your eyes and now connecting to this area under the eyes that we just worked and feeling a little warm sensation there. And you might also feel that your muscles have contracted and have worked, which is a good feeling. This would want to feel that. Let's move on to the next exercise. So I want you to take your index finger and your thumb and just make like a little round shape here. I'm going to place index finger under the eyebrow 
and position your thumb lightly on top of your cheekbones. And we're gonna do this on both sides at the same time. So index finger, we're trying to spread it quite close to the skin, hugging the bone of your eyebrow. And from here, holding that position, slightly move the index fingers up, so you, you creating a lift in your eyebrows. And then from here, close the eyes, pulling the, the upper eyelids down. Open the eyes. Now close the eyes and open the eyes. Again, close the eyes. So you're feeling the little shake and pulse of the muscles in the upper eyelids working, but also the muscles in the lower eyelids working because we're trying to draw the eyes into the center against the resistance of the fingers that we positioned on the cheekbones and then also on the eyebrows. Inhaling, exhaling. Good. And slowly releasing down, relaxing your hands down. Take a breath in and out. And now with all of your fingertips, tap all the way on top of the cheekbones, from the center of the face, all the way out towards the temple. So this will start to release tension uh, because as we're contracting and releasing the muscles, it builds up a little bit of tension into them. So we want to rebalance them between the exercises. So breathing in and breathing out. I'm gonna take those taps onto the temples as well, inhale and exhale. So we have one more strengthening technique here. So I want you to take your right hand and position it right on top of your left eyebrow. So we're going across onto the other side of the face. So lift the eyebrow slightly up and then with your other hand, take the edge of your palm and position the edge of your palm right under the outer corner of the eye. So I'm kind of covering the outer corner of the eye, but also this section of the eye here on the edge. So this hand that's positioned here, it's not dragging the skin or the muscle down, it's just positioned nice and flat to the skin. So hold this eyebrow up with your hand, hold the hand in place, take a breath in, and now as you exhale, draw your eye into the center. Again, you're gonna try and close the eye against the resistance of your hands that you positioned there earlier. Breathe, hold this for five counts, and slowly release and relax. You're going to relax the hands completely down. Inhale. Exhale. Again, connecting to that eye that we just worked and connecting to the muscles, trying to relax them, but at the same time, feeling the work that you've just done there, contracting and engaging those muscles. Let's do the same on the other side. So positioning your hand just above the eyebrow, and I'm just using my three finger pad to spread them nice and white and then lift that eyebrow up with your other hand. Again, positioning it in the way so it covers the outer edge of the eye and holds it in place without pulling down. Take a breath in, relax your shoulders. Again, as you exhale, draw the eye into the center. So simultaneously working the upper eye area, but also under the eye. So you feel the muscles contracting and holding this without holding the breath. So make sure you're still breathing. Good. Inhale and exhale. And slowly relax your hands down, opening the eye and coming back to neutral position. Again, just becoming aware of the sensations around the eye that we just worked on. Let's go ahead and do one more time on each side. So we're going to the side that we've done originally. Again, pulling up the eyebrow. So hold this in place, position the hand without pulling the hand down. So just keep it nice and flat to the skin, inhale. And then exhale, draw the eye up into the center. Again, we're aiming to work just on that side and trying to keep the other side of the face as relaxed as possible. So holding this as you're breathing and then slowly releasing the muscles and releasing the hands down. Inhaling, exhaling, connecting to the sensations in that eye. Going on to the other side, again, positioning the hand to lift the eyebrow, positioning the hand under the eye there, across the outer edge, inhaling, relaxing the shoulders, exhaling again, drawing the eye into the center. So this hand here provides us with some extra resistance and weight, so we can work the muscles a little bit better. Inhale, exhale, and then slowly releasing everything back to center, returning the hands down, taking a breath in through the nose, 
and exhaling out. Connect one more time to the sensation around both eyes, especially in your lower eyelids. Next, I'm going to show you a lovely soothing lymphatic drainage massage, which will require no oil because we're going to be using a very rhythmic pumping motion of the fingertips on the skin. So for this one, no, no oil is required. So just your hands. And we're going to start by opening the lymphatic drainage channels in our face. So starting with the collarbones, finger pads moving with tapping motion just on top of the collarbones. You're essentially just going to tap here for a few moments. You're going to tap under the collarbones and all the way around on top and underneath the collarbones just for a few seconds. Then from here, I'm going to take two or three finger pads and we're going to place them behind our earlobes and we're just going to tap on those areas as well. So I'm just tapping right behind my, my earlobes there on the neck. So this opens the drainage channels in the neck so that when we're working with um, lymphatic flow, around the eyes so this channel is already prepared and they can drain down any toxins any lymph down coming back to center releasing the hands now with three finger pads we're going to start at the cheekbones next to the nose and then with outward pumping motion very gently pump all the way out through the cheekbones to the sides of the face and again, I'm going to get a little bit closer to the camera. So I'm pumping outwards without dragging or pulling the skin. So the gentler you go here with this motion, the better it will help to tap into our lymphatic system, which is sitting right under the skin. So if we push in too much, we're going to bypass it completely and we're not going to be able to activate it. So for us, it's important to flush out any toxins, any byproducts here that might be lingering under the eyes, causing puffiness, causing that sunken look. So we want to flush all of that out. And for this, this particular type of massage is really, really good. So we're breathing in and out. Make sure your breathing is flowing. So nice and slow motions here. So I'm just tapping all the way outwards like so. Inhale. Exhale. And then next, we're going to take the finger pads back to the start position and we're going to tap gently downward motion all the way as we're going across. So rather than outwards, down motion without pulling too much. It's just very gentle here. So we don't want to be pushing the skin too much, but we just want to encourage a different type of flow here of our lymph down. We're still moving outwards towards the edges of the face but we're pumping down with our finger pads. And just get as many finger pads as you can fit in. So I'm using three of mine here. Good, and again, downward pumping motion, working gently, light touch. Keep breathing. And keep your eye muscles relaxed. Make sure you're not tensing the face. Last time pumping down as we're moving across. Good. Releasing your hands. Take a breath in and out. And finishing with a little acupressure point here, two index fingers. We're going to press them into the bridge of the nose, applying gentle pressure as you're closing the eyes, taking a breath in and exhale out. Let the eye muscles completely relax as you're applying this gentle compression into the bridge of the nose, stimulating the acupressure point here, which is responsible for releasing tension in the eyes, so promoting better blood circulation here. But nice and slowly glide the finger pads on top of the cheekbones, all the way to the outer part of the face here, all the way through, inhaling and exhaling, keeping a nice light touch. Last two, and then last one. Good. And slowly release the hands down, take another breath in and out. We've just finished the video, which was all about how to reduce and improve the appearance of sunken eyes. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like under it. I would also love you to subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber yet. 
to receive videos from me weekly on how to age naturally and gracefully. I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you very soon.